Hi guys, welcome to day four of distance learning for reading. We are going to read Hanging Tough today, which is about sloths. So let's begin. Rescuers use a sloth sporting event to help save one of the world's slowest animals. And I am gonna zoom in on this text a little bit because I'm having some trouble reading it. Ready, set, go. A group of competitors takes off from the starting line but they don't seem to be in much of a hurry. Why not? The athletes are sloths, one of the slowest animals on earth. The race is part of an event called the Sloth Ironman Games. It's held every October at the Toucan Rescue Ranch, a wildlife center in Costa Rica. Sloths face off in games, including a climbing race and a flower eating contest. The animals didn't always cooperate don't always cooperate. Sometimes they go completely in the wrong direction, says Zara Palmer, who runs the event. The games are fun, but they have a serious purpose. Organizers want to spread the word about the dangers sloths, sloths face in a tropical rainforest where they live. All the sloths in the Iron Man games were injured or orphaned in the wild. Rescuers in Costa Rica are caring for them and working to save their forest home. The slow life. Sloths are known for their super slow lifestyle. They spend most of their time hanging upside down in the forest canopy in the South and Central America. Sloths eat, give births, birth, and even sleep in this position. Their powerful claws help them grip onto branches as they move slowly through the trees. You can tell the two main types, two-toed sloths and three-toed sloths, by the number of claws on their front paws. Scientists think sloths' extreme slowness helps them to survive. The forest is full of predators like jaguars and hawks, but those animals have a hard time spotting sloths in the treetops. Tiny plant-like organisms called algae grow on sloths' fur. That gives them a green tint and helps them blend in. Unfortunately, sloths' habitat is disappearing. People are cutting down the trees to make room for buildings and roads. On the ground, sloths are often attacked by dogs or run over by cars. Sloths now face a lot of new dangers because of humans, says Sam Truel. She is the founder of a sloth institute an organization that rescues sloths that have been affected by deforestation. It's Troll's mission to keep these slowpokes safe. Sloth snuggles. Troll moved to Costa Rica in 2007 to study primates like monkeys. Instead, she fell in love with sloths. Many of the sloths at the Sloth Institute have been badly hurt. Some have fallen from trees. Others have been injured by electric wires or attacked by animals. The baby sloths that have lost their mothers need a lot of love and care. In the wild, they hold tight to their mother as she hangs from the tree. They cling to mom 24 hours a day, says Troll. To mimic this experience, Troll often straps baby sloths to her chest. It can take years to teach sloths the skills they need to return to the wild. Workers place sloths in a large outdoor pen to help them become comfortable in the forest. Sloths gradually spend more time outside the pen until they're ready to stay there for good. Saving sloths. Troll's team is helping sloths in other ways too. While there are gaps in the canopy, workers are using ropes to connect the trees. Sloths can climb this sloth speedway to stay safely away from dangers on the ground. The Sloth Institute also works for the with the Toucan Rescue Ranch to raise money to protect sloths. The annual Sloth Ironman Games are part of that effort. The ranch and streams, the ranch streams the games online and encourages viewers to donate to support sloth conservation. Every year, a new group of sloths compete in the Sloth Ironman Games. Organizers are excited to see what will happen this year. You never know who will win, says Palmer. Sometimes they go straight for the finish. Other times they want to take a nap. 
So I want to take a moment to look at these text features since I just finished the article. It says the winner of the 2018 event was a two-toed sloth named Goldie. Strong sloth challenge, which sloth can hoist itself to the top of a branch first? There's a one meter dash. Animals race upside down across a bamboo pole and devour the flower. Yum, sloths gobble up hibiscus flowers. Sorry about that. As fast as they can. And I'm gonna scroll to the other pictures on the next page. Where sloths live, here's it, where sloths can be found in South America and Central America. And you can kind of tell what's highlighted there for the sloth range over here and here. Here is zoologist. Sam Troll examining a three-toed sloth. They're filled with special tracking collars before they are released. And young sloths snuggle with each other for comfort. So your activity for today after we read that was to plan and write a comic about a sloth participating in the Sloth Iron Man games. So you'll want to refer back to that article, look at the games that they play, and create a comic about that. Talk to you guys tomorrow.